again, to me, the, the most incredible people are our first responders who saved my life, the doctors, the country that I live in that I got the medical care that I did, and the ability to be able to do what I'm doing right now. Um, as I was talking to the gentleman that's from the Brain Injury Association of, of this town, um, was saying that to me what gets me going is that person that can't walk and can't talk and isn't supported and doesn't get the, the care because they can't speak out for themselves. And that's the whole reason I, I, I'm out here. And that it is one of the most preventable injuries as well. Um, brain injury gets limped as things like concussion to stroke to subdermal hematoma. They're all brain injuries. They're all issues that need to be looked at. And we need to be um, doing simple things like putting a helmet on our kids and to the adults as well. It's one thing to put a helmet on your kid, but it's the dad that has to make sure that he can continue to make payments to for the mortgage and stuff like that to supply for his family. So you guys are the inspiration. This is this is why I'm doing this. This is absolutely fantastic. This is a great town and a fantastic turnout. And you know, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Brain Trust, if it wasn't for Melissa and my wife. Uh, this isn't just me. All I have to do is run. Seriously, it's everybody else that has to work really hard. I get to run every day. It's really not that hard. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. It hurts some days, but this has just been fantastic. And thank you to the mayor for turning out. This has just been awesome. And a challenge out to all my local and federal MLAs. Come out for a run. <laughs> but thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Right on, David.